have for you here is a comfortable modern house. We've got three bedrooms, three bathrooms, two of them are ensuite. We've got solar hot water, a comfortable modern kitchen with an outside kitchen as well, which you'll see a little bit of later on. Okay, this is um, Callum Marlott's shop, about a hundred yards from the house. This is where you'll be able to get everything you need to face soap, razors, biscuits, rice, chilies, ropes if you want them, tippy tips, the whole lot. But the best thing about this shop is the bread. And we get three deliveries a day here. The first one comes at about 6.30 in the morning. Um, it's delivered freshly for every meal. Try bread with dal and silly sambal either on a morning for breakfast or on an evening and there's nothing better. Alright, I'll just show you this. Right, this is the bread. It's a whole loaf of bread and everybody gets one loaf usually um, with a bowl of paripu, dal and silly sambal. And then the go. And, and the packaging is, is environmentally friendly. Is the man to take. I've known Babi for 25 years now and he's the most careful, um, wonderful driver you're going to find around here. And the van is clean, comfortable and reliable. <laughs> Self needing any local transport, this is the thing to use a three wheeler. They're everywhere, great, reliable, cheap way to get around. It's good fun as well. These are tambilis, they're bright orange coconuts, but they're drinking coconuts. And you'll see them at the side of the road almost wherever you go in Sri Lanka. And it's far more refreshing than a, a warm bottle of water that you've been carrying around in the car. interested it'd be good to, to learn a few tips from them uh, these people can make sand tasty the good curries come out of clay pots they have to be cooked in clay pots and the very best ones are cooked in clay pots over open fires so although we've got a modern and comfortable kitchen with a gas cooker and oven in there we very rarely use that unless it's for porridge on a morning what we tend to do is cook outside in a very simple kitchen um, which we use firewood 
it's a different way of cooking. You could soon get used to it, but you don't have to worry about it. If you don't want to do it, Acker or Jessica will do it for you. They will do as much or as little in the way of cooking for you as you want. There's no getting away from the fact that Marawila is a fishing village and most of your neighbours, certainly everybody on the beach, will, will all be fishermen or fishermen's families. If you want the freshest fish, you go down the beach for it. But it'll all be delivered up to the market within half an hour and you get a bigger choice of the market. fish market at Palo 10 o'clock in the morning, everything you see here was caught last night so it doesn't come any fresher than this. We've got a whole variety of fish, I'll show you a few in a minute. Um, it's a busy place, this will all be sold out in a couple of hours. So if you want your fish, you come early in the morning. Okay, if you want the bigger fish, we've come along to uh, Marawila, Andy. But this is bluefin tuna. Again, caught last night, so as fresh as you can get. Get it on the barbecue back home, there is nothing to eat. start cooking them and experimenting with them and Jessica and Aka at the house will show you what to do with them. Brinjol, Ponchi, Memokanda. Avara, Avara. Avara. You've got Avara there. <laughs> We've got Bitter God here. They are absolutely delicious. Fresh mushrooms. You've got ladies fingers there. Memokanda. Okay, there's that there. More radishes. Things I don't even know what they call there. Okay, here we've got just a few pineapples. They're all grown locally. What you'll find with the fruit out here is it tastes fresher and better than you've ever had before. The stuff from the supermarket at home, once you get back, will not be good enough. The butchers might take you by surprise initially. It's not pre-packaged, you get the whole animal there and everything is used in it. 